Hey Soulfights, how are you doing? I hope everybody is well. Um, here right in front of me we've got my Savage. Um, this is my XL Savage with the electric conversion. This is running the Ghoul RC 150M ESC and 2000 KV motor combo. And I've got some Turnergy 4S batteries in there running in parallel. So it's still just 4S going into that ESC. It is rated to 6S, so I haven't tried it on 6S so I've, I have no experience with that. The only downside this truck's given me uh, so far is Blown drive shafts, a stripped pinion, which was my fault. That's really it. Other than that, this has been a very reliable truck. The electronics package has been really good. It's been through water, it's been hammered, you know, I haven't put success through it, only 4S. But other than that, I've got real no real complaints about this package. It, I mean it cost me 105 US dollars or something around there. And the only thing I can complain about is the piano black finish on the ESC, which looks a bit cheesy. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Not many people are looking at that. I lie, there is a really big issue with this combo. Stop press. It is the fact it does not come with the right programming card. I had to purchase this program card separately. It's a bit of a bummer, but it didn't put me off completely because this was, I think, $10. Um, so I got the right one. The one that comes with it doesn't work at all. Uh, this one works a treat. Other than that, I mean, I got no complaints. I love the color of the motor, it looks great. Absolutely no issues at this point. You can change your cutoff voltage for the cells, so depending on how well you want to look after your batteries. Um, mine's at 3.2 for memory. Uh, the running mode, whether it's forward, forward with or without reverse, um, and whether there's a pause between reversing. Uh, the motor timings, the initial acceleration or punch, throttle percent reverse, so that's how much power you're going in reverse. Uh, the actual overall throttle limit, so if you're training maybe, um, percentage of braking, percentage of drag brake, motor rotation, and the neutral range. There is an 11th one, and that's the BEC, switchable to 8.4 volts, which I use, and it works fine. So, <clears throat> I don't know how else to say it, other than, you know, I haven't, oh, I haven't had any real issues with it, nothing to report that... You know, that's a game changer for anybody that would stop you from buying this. It's considerably cheaper than the competition. You know, I think it comes down to the price and the features. I think you need to ask yourself, do I need to pay more than twice the price? This bang for buck is an awesome system. Check it out. Thanks for watching my videos. If you think these are helpful to you or you'd like to see more, please let me know. Just to the top right there, you can hit subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me. And don't forget to leave a comment or a like. It always helps. Thanks, guys, and see you later.